Stephanie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be organizing my pantry and my little set of drawers that I keep some of my snacks in because it is a disaster and I'm sick of looking at it. If you don't know, I live in a studio apartment in Philadelphia, so my space is very limited to begin with. So mostly this is just gonna be decluttering expired things and just kind of making it a little more accessible for me without it being too, too cluttered. So let's just jump into it. So here is what this situation looks like right now. It's a hot mess and it desperately needs to be organized. Also, I apologize, I'm filming this at night, so the lighting is probably not the greatest, but I wanted to still, you know, speed through it for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. I don't really have too much of a plan other than just to get this to look less chaotic. Okay, now that I've pulled everything off the top, I decided just to roll this over here so I would just have some more room. This is everything that either doesn't fit inside or was on the top, which means it doesn't fit inside. So this needs to all end up in here as best as I can. Obviously, I have that other cabinet that I haven't gone through yet either, so some of this stuff could end up in there and vice versa, but we just we need to get this looking better. If this isn't a sign that I need to buy a tea bag organizer off of Amazon, I don't know what is. Okay, so this is my other like pantry type cabinet. It's honestly decently organized, like all things considered. I did, I do have like some cute containers and stuff in there and I generally do have a system for everything. I don't know if there's gonna be a good angle since this cabinet is so high up um, for me to film like taking everything out and putting everything back in but this is the before and I will just show you the after. Okay, so here's the after. Like I said, it was pretty organized to begin with, but I just cleared out some things that were expired, 
reorganized just a few things to make everything just a little more visible. So my top shelf up there is all baking stuff. And then this middle shelf is like some breakfast snacks. I have some oatmeal packets, Pop-Tarts, granola, crackers, crisps, dried fruit, and then some pistachios. And then this bottom shelf is like my cooking shelf, if you could call it that. I have some soups and cans over here, all of my spices. I have some extra pasta back there that just didn't fit in the container. Some chicken broth, shake and bake, breadcrumbs. All of my liquid IV, of course, has to be on the bottom shelf. All of my oils. And then behind all the oils is like rice and stuff. I don't know how well you can see that from here, but that's kind of this cabinet. I mean, I think for a studio apartment between this and the little rolling thing, it's a decent amount of space. I just like to keep a lot of stuff stocked in here, um, which is why I make the most of this space. But I think this looks a lot better and just a little more organized. And then here is the final product of my little rolling cart. I do still have stuff on the top that is totally to be expected because there's just some stuff that's just way too tall. So the three containers back here are the stuff that was just too tall to fit in the cabinet. So my big container of noodles, my graham crackers, my jelly beans, and then I put the um, sunflower butter cups in here just to make them a little prettier. This thing of balsamic vinegar is too tall for my shelves. And then this is just a thing of cookies rather than having them on my counter. It can sit over here. And then this top drawer, you guys saw me organize all of this, of course, but this top drawer is all of my teas, drinks, and then candy in here. And then my peanut butter because I just didn't have another place for my peanut butter. This middle drawer is all of my like fun snacks. Like I know I had crackers and stuff in the other one, but this has like cookies and my chomp sticks and my extra popcorn and pita chips are back there and my more, yeah, like fun snacks, we'll call it. And then the bottom drawer, it's this, this drawer system is just really old. My parents have had it for literally ever, which is why it sticks and like rattles and stuff. It's not because it's too full. Um, so down here are all of my like pastas, rices, and like meal kit kind of things. So I have a bunch of tuna helpers in here, some like couscous, extra boxes of mac and cheese, stuff like that. I could have put some of these in the other cabinet, but I like just my plain rice to be in there and this to be more diverse. Um, and then I have my thing of right rice in here. And I did put my extra baking mixes in here also just to keep them out of the way. But yeah, basically this is just overflow from the cabinet, this bottom drawer, but yeah, that, ugh, that is it for this set of drawers. Okay, so I'm adding in a clip to this video because I finally ordered this tea bag organizer off of Amazon and I'm going to organize my different kinds of tea in here because it was driving me nuts how unorganized they were in my drawer when I was going through and organizing them for that video. So let's just do this.
All right, that is the organization of my pantry area. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know these videos are so fun for me to watch, so I hope it was motivating and or relaxing for you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.